Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins with a young boy named Owen, waking up early in the morning. The previous night, he was left a chocolate by Mad Man from the mountain, with whom Owen is obsessed. Instead of chocolate, Owen finds wild berries and takes them home. He spends afternoons in a forest hut, making inventions and telling fairy tales about Mad Man, in which he claims to be a scary man, who worked in a freak circus, and then moved to the mountains to be free. When his parents see him eating the berries, they warn him that they might be poisonous, but he claims they are a gift from the Mad Man of the mountains. His parents and his sister, Lily, don't believe his stories, but he doesn't care. Their parents have to go on a trip for personal matters, and the siblings are left alone. A little later, we learn that Owen had a dog that died, and he is still very sad about it. Moving to three thugs, Blackie, Bud, and Artie. Blackie has just arrived in town disguised as a nun, to hide his identity. Later in the afternoon, Owen delivers the newspapers. On the way, he begins to be chased by dogs, who he feeds. Later, he meets his crush, Megan, and asks her to go for picnic together. He hands her the paper and leaves. As he continues to deliver the papers, he is chased by a group of school bullies, including Dexter. Dexter and his gang harass Owen, throwing his bicycle newspapers and pants off a bridge. In addition, Dexter tells him to stay away from Megan. Owen goes to pick up the bicycle and pants from the river. As he repairs his bike, he notices the three thugs arriving in a car. The group has an abused dog, that they always carry with them. As Blackie enters a public restroom, Owen notices how the other two thugs mistreat the dog, and intervenes. He helps the dog, and begins to cuddle him. A lady finds Blackie in the bathroom, and realizing that he is a man, hits him in the face. Soon after, he comes out dressed in a fancy costume, and tells Owen to stay away from the dog. Blackie tells the other two to take the dog to the car, but the animal begins to run away. They all start chasing the dog, but the boy finds it first, and signals the dog in which direction to run, and leads the thugs in the wrong direction. The thugs are desperate to find the dog, because unbeknownst to Owen, the three had committed a diamond theft, and hid the stolen diamonds on the dog's collar. Owen finds the dog again, and helps him escape. As the thugs explore the woods, Owen warns them about the mad man, and shows them some of the inventions he has built for him. Then he takes the thugs to a place where the trees are marked with yellow. He states that if anyone dares to cross those trees, they will have to deal with the mountain madman. The trio doesn't believe it, but Blackie pushes Bud forward anyway, to see what will happen. Nothing strange happens, except that a group of squirrels starts attacking them. Owen continues to lead them through the forest, and takes them to the lair of the madman. The thugs realize that he is not leading them to the dog. Suddenly, the boy hits Blackie between the legs and runs away. Knowing the forest quite well, he easily manages to hide from them and find the dog again. He takes the dog to the madman's den and gives her a tour. Then he shows her a boat and says it belongs to the madman. He continues to play with the new dog, and introduces her to his family. He bonds with the golden retriever, and noticing the diamond collar, decides to name her Diamond. Meanwhile, the thugs are lost in the forest, and trying to reach a nearby village. They find Owen's bike, on which there is a sticker with his name on it. Blackie decides to look for him in this small town and get the dog back. After delivering the newspaper to the madman's mailbox, Owen and Diamond return to the little house in the forest that he built. He has to go home, and tells Diamond to stay in the cottage, because he cannot take him home, his sister is allergic to dogs. The thugs in the meantime roam the town, and ask people if they know Owen, but no one knows who he is. Owen is at home, and suddenly sees Diamond outside the door. He lets the dog in, and feeds her breakfast, after which he hides her. The sister notices Owen has finished eating very quickly, and realizes something is wrong. When she approaches him, she starts sneezing. He pretends he does not understand what is going on, and as soon as she walks away, he takes the dog into the bathtub, to bathe together. The thugs finally manage to find out where Owen lives, thanks to Dexter. Owen takes the dog to his room, and reads a newspaper article about the thugs' theft of diamonds. He quickly realizes that the three thugs are the main suspects, and they hid the diamonds through Diamond. He decides to take the dog to the police station, and rides away on his bike with Diamond. Outside, the three thugs arrive at Owen's house, and try to sneak inside the garden. Blackie knocks on the door, and asks Lily if she has seen their dog. Lily confesses that she has no dog, but advises the men to go check out Owen's forest cottage. Owen arrives at the police station, and reveals that he knows who the three suspects are. However, the police believe the story is not true, thinking that he is telling stories about the madman befriending Bigfoot. 
At that point, Owen realizes that he cannot count on the officers, and leaves. Outside, he meets Megan, introducing his new dog. He tells her the story of the three thugs, but even Megan has trouble believing him. Soon, they meet Dexter. The kids start beating Owen, who gets up and punches Dexter. Then he picks up some eggs, and smashes them over his head. At that moment, the three thugs are in the car, and notice Owen with the dog. Owen grabs the dog, and immediately hides behind a garbage can. Back home, he leaves a message saying he will be back for dinner, and goes into the forest with the dog. There, he begins to build traps for the thugs. Meanwhile, the dog walks away, and we see it being stroked by a stranger. When Owen realizes that the dog has run away, he begins to call her. When she returns, Diamond takes Owen to the stranger. It turns out that it is the madman of the mountain, who is a real person, and not a fairy tale. While Owen is taking care of Diamond, he notices the madman rocking in a chair. Soon, the man disappears. Owen realizes that he is late for dinner, and rushes home. Once there, he talks to his mother on the phone, and asks her if they can keep a dog in the house. Unfortunately, the mother does not agree, because Lily is allergic. A little later, Lily informs him that three men visited, looking for their dog. Owen begins to worry when she reveals she told the men precisely where to look, in the forest cottage. Someone suddenly knocks on the door, and it turns out to be just Lily's friends. Lily gives Owen money, to not to tell her parents, and goes off to have fun with her friends. Outside, the thugs are in a car, and realize that Owen is home alone. They catch him and threaten him if he does not tell them where the dog is. Diamond appears and rescues Owen, assaulting Bud. Soon, Owen runs into the woods with Diamond, and the thugs chase him. They track Owen to his hiding place, and search the entire area, but end up setting off one after another Owen's booby traps. In the process, the boy builds a machine that shoots tennis balls, and when he spots the trio approaching, starts shooting them. Initially, he manages to stop them for a moment, but then runs out of balls. Blackie says they need a plan, and decides to attack the cottage from different directions. They run inside, but Owen and the dog have hidden under the house. Unfortunately, the dog barks, and the thugs find them, who start to flee, and the thugs chase them, springing more traps. Later, while Blackie stays inside, the other two go out looking for the dog. Blackie manages to find Owen and Diamond, but sets off a trap that burns his butt. Then as he tries to catch Owen again, he slips and falls on the floor. Artie and Bud try to climb a rock, but they spring another trap, and hide when they see an avalanche of rocks coming. Thinking they are safe, they get up, and are hit in the face by dumbbells. After Blackie recovers, he finally manages to catch Owen. He ties Owen to a chair in the hiding place, while the other two inspect Diamond for diamonds. Blackie notices a patch on Diamond's stomach, that Owen had put on her earlier, and suspects that he has done something to the dog. Blackie orders him to show where he has hidden the diamonds. He leads them to a canoe, which belongs to the madman, and claims to have hidden them inside. Bud and Artie jump into the canoe, and get glued to the seats. But the two find the collar, and throw it to Blackie, who gets annoyed however, and says to Owen that he has actually hidden the stolen diamonds in Diamond's stomach, and that these are fake diamonds on the collar. Because she has diamonds inside, the dog begins to feel sick. Owen makes Diamond run away from Blackie, leaving him alone to fight for himself. Before Blackie has a chance to hurt Owen, he ends up being thrown into the canoe with Bud and Artie, by the madman of the mountain. As a result, the thugs roll down the hill with the caravan, to the town. On the way, they meet Dexter riding his bicycle, and the boy ends up landing in a nearby garbage can. Eventually, the thugs are about to crash, but they manage to stop. However, they realize they are next to some policemen, who recognize them from the diamond robbery, and arrest them. Meanwhile, with the help of the madman, Owen returns home with a sick diamond, and asks his sister for help. Later at night, Owen and his parents go to the vet to comfort Diamond, who has just had his stolen diamonds removed. Owen learns the truth about the madman of the mountain from the police chief, he is not mad at all, nor has he escaped from a circus. His name is Carl, and he has lived in the woods for years. His wife died in a car accident, and he was badly burned trying to save her. Owen wants to keep Diamond, but because of his sister's extreme allergy to dogs, he plans to give Diamond to Carl. The next day, he climbs the mountain, and gives Diamond to the man, who thanks him from afar. Later, we see Owen and Megan watching fireworks and kissing. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.